Hey everybody, this is Erica the Technology Nerd likes to film stuff at Mobile World Congress collaborating with Pocket Now. I had found myself at the Sony booth taking a look at some really cool stuff. One which is coming to market this summer called the Xperia Ear and the concept product, the Xperia Projector. Both were very well received by attendees. Now, the Xperia Projector is very much a concept with no actual specs because Sony doesn't know when or even if they will bring it to market. I suppose they are testing the waters to gauge interest before following through with it. The gist is that it is a little box that they want to be a standalone product without needing to be connected to a smartphone and without needing to be plugged in, so it will hopefully run off of battery power. It can be projected onto a desk or flat surface or even a wall. We don't know specs on range or size of projection, however. In fact, every question I asked was met with a we don't know, which shows how rough this idea really is right now. The model currently being shown was running Android, but they don't know what OS eventually will be used. But a concept idea would be for Android to run on it and to be able to project apps. The sky is the limit with this. They showed a little bit of a mock-up interface and what they envisioned can be done with it. So I kindly had them run the demonstration over again just for me. Now, can you run through that again? <laughs> Everything. Oh yeah. I can do, yeah, from the start. So the Xperia Projector concept from Sony Mobile. You have all kinds of different functions here, right? You have a calendar, which is a digital as well as uh, and and I look at them. You can add notes. You can mark something. And if my son will tell me, I want to go to the zoo with you on the 28th, then that will sync automatically to my Google Calendar, and I would know, right? Um, you can add post-it notes. You can create your own notes here. Sony, MWC. It's a device, so why don't you see notes? But that's not it, right? You can also use it for any kind of conference box. And for grandma, grandma, yeah, full screen calls with grandma and her friends, having a cup of tea. So, is there a camera on there? There's a camera on there, you can see it here on top. Of course, usually you can uh, pop it upright up as well, and then it would um, use the camera for that, right? There's a demo over there as well where it's throwing the picture against the wall. Okay. Recipes. Also another option if you put this on your kitchen table, for example. Right, right. Uh, hook it up to your um, home heating system. The air conditioning. Um, see what your last power bill was. Uh, if you have, of course, you can see here now you put on more heating um, during the month of February. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's crazy. We'll watch it. Hook it up to your home security system. Thank you. Check out the status of your doors, windows, etc., etc. And of course, you can play music with it as well. That's pretty cool. The uncanny thing was that even though this is a prototype, they had it tracking your finger movement so well and convincing enough for it to already feel very real, so that everybody was so much wanting to know more, so much wanting to touch it and interact with it. It's too bad that this interface was really just a mock-up. It didn't have too much you could actually do with it. But this is a really cool technology. Imagine being able to turn any surface into a computer screen, essentially, and that's really what this is. You don't have to worry about your countertop being dirty or whatever, for example. You're free to go and touch it and interact with it, and it really tracks your hands well. So I hope that they go and do more with this because I think I would buy it, especially if it wasn't really heavy and if it had a pretty decent range on it. Now, neither they nor I would have any idea what this would cost. Again, this is extremely prototype. I am curious though, what do you guys think about this? What can you imagine being done with this? Where would you want to see this take direction? And most of all, would you buy this? Otherwise, we also have the Xperia Ear that should be ready for purchase this summer, June or July. It's a smart Bluetooth headset. You can use it to send or receive information as a personal assistant and get info from your phone without ever having to take it out of your pocket, so that is really nice. You can choose your voice engine as Google Now or Sony, though they say it benefits you to use Sony's because it talks back to you with search results, for instance. The voice agent is launched by short pressing the main key, so it is not voice activated. You can't say something like, okay, Google. 
It also has a proximity sensor, so it'll turn itself on if you put it inside your ear, and it will greet you. It feels pretty comfortable. It kind of reminds me of a smartwatch slash personal assistant that you wear in your ear instead of on your wrist. I can't help but think of Cybus Industries ear pods for you Doctor Who fans out there. So Sony says it has 80 hour standby time, 3.5 hours of talk time, and it comes with a little compact carrying case slash battery case that should charge it about three times. So they say it's going to work with any Android device we don't know about iOS just yet, and we don't know of price yet either. That's something that will be announced a little bit later on. So let me know what you guys think of this. Would you use this or would you rather use a smartwatch? This has been designed to be worn pretty comfortably for many hours a day. So it's going to be kind of your choice whether you want to walk around with the thing sticking out of your ear, talking to yourself, looking like a crazy person, or if you'd rather talk to your wrist. So it's really one or the other. A joke, a kid. This is pretty cool. So again, this has been Erica with PocketNow, youtube.com slash Erica Griffin. Let me know what you all think about these products and whether you'd really like to use them. And a special shout out and thank you to PocketNow for letting me accompany them to MWC. 